Hey kids, Rob here and welcome to 4 on Pastor Chef. We are cooking up some good stuff for you, baby. You are going to love it. Mm -mm. You are going to love it. Today we are talking about one of the best lessons you'll ever hear. It's called the two tables. Now for our lesson today, kids, I want you to imagine that the kingdoms are restaurants. And that God has a restaurant and the enemy has a restaurant. And kids, that's a little bit what it's like. The enemy is out there trying to lure people into his restaurant every day. Well, Esther, I'd love to eat at God's restaurant. Yeah, me too, Paul. I've never thought of it like this before. Why do you want to choose God's restaurant? I'd choose God's restaurant because God is the ultimate yeah. maitre d'. He That's cooks right. them amazing meals. Yeah. And they make me pretty full. I know. And if you put what God's cooking into you, it makes you feel so good. So there's this story in the Bible, right? Now you might have heard about this before, or perhaps it's the first time. This is the world famous, amazing edition story of the walls of Jericho. See kids, ever since way back in Egypt, Israel has been promised a promised land. That's why they called it the promised land, because it was promised to them from God. Now Israel had been told they were not allowed to touch any of the spoils of war, kids. That's none of the gold, none of the silver, none of the clothes, none of the food. Don't touch any of it because it all belongs to God. And everyone knew that and that's what they had to do. And Joshua was like, this is our promised land. We're taking our promised land. So everything we win from this first war from the promised land goes to God. So Israel marches around the city wall seven times and then they let out this huge shout and the walls come down. You would think that in that situation everyone is focused on what God has said but everyone is not. You see as the army advances and swords are clanging and shields are being lifted and as the walls are lying on the ground and Israel is advancing, uh, someone just starts to slow down the pace and someone starts to look. Ooh, sir, may I suggest for starters this wonderful coat? This is Babylonian tailoring at its finest. Oh, um, we're not allowed to touch any of the spoils of war. We're not allowed. Oh, come now, sir. This coat is simply stunning. Look at it. I think it's your size. But we can't. We're not allowed. God said all the spoils of war belong to him. And he does, kids. He slides the coat on and it fits perfect. Take it, it's yours. Ooh, sir, look at main course. How about a wedge of gold? You won't find that on eBay, sir. <laughs> but, but we can't. Shh, sir, you can. All you need to do is say yes. Oh, sir, can I show you today's special dessert menu? Oh, what is it? How does 200 shekels of silver sound? Now he's got a coat he shouldn't have, he's got gold he shouldn't have, and he's got silver he shouldn't have. Well, long story short, Achan is brought forward to stand in front of Joshua. And Joshua says, what have you done? See kids, today's pulse is one choice you must make. Which meal will you take? Achan takes the wrong meal. He listens to the wrong voice. He orders from the wrong restaurant. And when he does, he will lose everything. It all went like that. See kids, every day, these two matra d's are offering you choices. They have today's menu. They have today's special. And which voice you listen to will determine which meal you take. New from Dumahunts, the Super Supreme Pro. We take a six inch super jumbo cross base. Then we add ham, pepperoni. Next up, raw potato and a hint of chili. Then we top it with three eggs, broccoli, and the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Chocolate topping. Then 
we hit it with cabbage, jam, hot sauce, and sugar, onion, chicken nuggets, and then we hit it with more cheese. And the finishing touch, a toffee apple. Like it? You're gonna love it. In fact, you'll be right back for another one straight after the operation. Jamba Hearts, Super Supreme Pro, available now. Now there's another famous story in the Bible. Jesus is preparing to face the cross. Mary does something quite amazing. She pours the contents of a super expensive bottle of perfume all over his feet. But Judas is watching this. And all of a sudden, enter the maitre d'. I'll be your maitre d' for the day, sir. Would you care for some betrayal and anger? I mean, did you see that waste? It was simply an utter waste, sir. One year's wages down the drain. That money could have been used to help the poor. Speak up, man. Point it out. Say it. Say it. Hey, the money from that perfume could have helped the poor. Yes, yes, perfect. You will always have the poor with you, Judas, but you won't have me. Oh my, sir, did you hear that? What a slap in the face. And after all you've done for him, three years of service to help him build his dream, and this is the thanks you get? Publicly shut down by the Prince of Peace? I do feel kind of embarrassed. Of course you do, sir. Of course you do. Who wouldn't? It was brutal what he did. Absolutely brutal. How dare he talk to you about money? Aren't you the treasurer? Aren't you the money guy? Show him how good you are with money. Go on, sir. Show him! Show him how talented you are with money! Sell him! And Judas orders off that menu. He loses everything too. But the good news is that there's another restaurant. It's the restaurant of light. It's the restaurant of God where he's the maitre d'. And the angels are his waiters. This is a place that's filled with the Holy Spirit. His presence which changes everything. Joy and peace and hope and love. The atmosphere is entirely different. It's not heavy and dark. Have you ever noticed when you eat junk food, sure it's easy, sure it's quick, but you don't feel good later. You feel sick and then you start getting obese, you're having health problems, your genes don't fit you anymore and stuff. But you start eating healthy. You eat some apples, you're having good vegetables. You find that your body starts to change its shape and all of a sudden you feel better. It's kind of the difference, isn't it? When you eat sin, when you eat that rubbish from that restaurant, you're not doing so well on the inside. But when you eat God's Word, when that's what you're digesting on, when that's what you're feeding off, when you taste and see that God is good, when you feed on that stuff, all of a sudden you're doing differently at school. Your life is different. Different things are happening to you because this is where you're getting all your nourishment and your vitamins, your spiritual vitamins and your nutrients are coming from the Word of God in God's kingdom because you eat in His restaurant. Well, maybe Mum was right, Esther, when she told me to eat all of my vegetables. Yeah, maybe. Because they're the good stuff. Yeah, not the bad stuff. That's right. Well, that's kind of like what Rob's telling us, to eat up the Word of God, to get it inside of us so that we remember it. In God's restaurant, the menu's got great desserts like Fruit of the Spirit. Hello. Here is a list of the Fruit of the Spirit. Kitchen, Love it. There's gentleness. There's love. There's peace. There's self-control. When you're eating this kind of stuff, kids, when you're getting that into your spirit, things are different. Now you're not getting angry like you used to when you ate in the other restaurant. Now you've got self-control because you're reading God's Word and you're starting to sound like Him. God doesn't want you to just hear about Him or know about Him. He wants you to taste Him. He wants you to taste and see that He is good. Here's the ram. Open your mouth and taste. Open your eyes and see how good God is. Blessed are you who run to Him. See kids. 
there are two kingdoms and there are two restaurants and there's two matrides and every day they present you with a choice. Here's the reason why some kids when they come to church are not interested in praise and worship or maybe even the lesson. Do you know why? They're not hungry for God's word because they've already eaten. They've already had a snack. Some Christians go from one restaurant to the other restaurant. On Sunday they're here. Monday they're there. Then they sort of come back. Wednesday night they're here and then they're back Friday. And, it, and so they, there's no power to their Christianity because they just keep changing restaurants. They, they go to both. What great dream has God got for you? It's free. It's already been paid for. All you need to do is receive it and tell God you're sorry for eating in this restaurant and that you are now going to eat from his restaurant. Well, kids, that's all we've got time for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Two restaurants, remember that. Two restaurants, two kingdoms, two leaders. God wants to lead you into every dream that he made for you. He's already got them planned out and ready. Remember, one choice you must make. Which meal will you take? Now, here's your leader. Bon Appetit!